guys so welcome back to my channel if you're meeting for the first time my name is Dami and you're watching Dami Dimension channel if you're not yet subscribed to my channel make sure you hit the red button down below to subscribe I share video every week so you don't want to miss out be sure to turn on the notification bell as well so you can get updates whenever I upload video if you enjoyed my tutorial please give me a thumbs up and if you have any comment let me know in the comment section down below I read every comment and I appreciate all comments you've been uh, sending to me so far. So without further ado, let's get started. Uh, I already have my Dartless basic bodies drafted as you can see. If, you're, uh, if you don't know how to do this, I have a very detailed video on how to draft um, a basic bodies pattern. So you can check that out. I'm going to provide the link somewhere in between this video or at the end. So the first thing I'm going to do is to get my bust span and that is your nipple to nipple measurement. So we are going to be getting uh, the bust span divided by 2 plus half an inch joining allowance. So my bust span is 7 divided by 2 gives me 3.5 then if I add half to that it's going to give me 4. So I'm going to be marking my 4 on my bust point like this. So just note that point on your bust point. So by the way, this is my bust point line, which is my shoulder to nipple measurement. So and here is my shoulder to under bust. You can ignore it. We don't really need this for this princess that. And here is my shoulder to waist. So this is my waist line now. So I'm also going to be taking this uh, four inches that I just got on my waist line and I'm going to be marking the point here like this I'm going to be making use of that point later okay so the next thing to do now is to measure around this arm o so for me I have eight and a half so we are going to be dividing that eight and a half by two if I divide my eight and a half by two it's going to give me four and a quarter so then we are going to mark that four and quarter here like this so this is the point of my four and quarter. Let me make that more visible. All right. So, and from this point, I'm going to be connecting a straight line to this point that I have here. Okay. So, and from this point, I'm going to be taking half inch on both sides. So depending on the cuff size of your client or whoever you're uh, making the dress for, you can you can make it three quarter of an inch or one inch on both sides. But for me, I'm making it half inch on both sides. Okay. And from these two points now, I'm going to be connecting to my boss point line here that I just got. So I forgot to come up by one inch from my bust point upward. So that's something we can fix quickly. Make sure you come up from your bust point line on this middle line that we did before. Make sure you come up by one inch before you connect these two lines. For me, it actually makes uh, a little difference. The difference is not so much because The difference is not so much for me as you can see because uh, I took only one, uh, I mean, I took only half inch on both sides. But for someone that is going to be taking three quarter of an inch or one inch on both sides, it's going to have a lot of difference if you don't come up by one inch. So make sure you come up by one inch from your bust point upward before you join those two lines, which I have just done now. All right? So, the same way you came up by one inch from your bust point line upward, you should come down as well from that bust point downward by one inch as well. Like this. Okay? So next, I remember the bust span point that we marked here initially. So that was uh, the half of my nipple to nipple measurement plus half of an inch that we marked here. So from there, I'm going to be taking one inch on both sides 
For this one as well, you can choose to make yours three quarter of an inch. You can make it more or less. That depends on how uh, much you want the princess boss to protrude. So for me, I'm going to be making it one inch on both sides. You can make yours three quarter of an inch if you want it to be less pronounced at the bust area or if you're, or maybe your client has uh, a smaller cup, you can make it three quarter of an inch or you can even add to it if your client has a bigger cup, okay? So after that, then we are going to be connecting this. Let me show you. So now I have my one inch on both sides here, one inch, one inch, I'm going to be connecting it to this point. So you are going to be connecting the ends of the dart together. Here is the end of my dart. Remember, I came up by one inch from here. So here is the end of my dart, not this one. And here is the end of the uh, waist dart. Okay, so now here is the princess curve. All right, so one more thing I'm going to do to the dart is, uh, you know we are going to be cutting out this dart now and here as well, okay? And when we cut them out, we need to join them together. And because here is a straight line, we don't have to do anything here. When we join it, they, they are going to come out perfect. But when you join these two parts together after cutting them, this one is going to end up being shorter than this part. They are not going to end up equal. So because of that, we need to, you know, we took half inch on both sides here, right? So we are going to be extending this last line here by that one inch. So I'm taking one inch upward from this line. So basically I'm just extending this line like this by one inch. If you take uh, one inch on both sides, for example, here and here, then you're going to be having two inches. So then you should extend this one by two inches. And if you take three quarter of an inch, do the same. Whatever you have here is what is going to determine what you're going to extend this one by. Okay, so the next thing now to do is to recreate this curve line. So just connect from this point to this point now. Okay, so now that is my new curve uh, for the arm O. So the next thing to do is to start transferring our horizontal measurements. And I'm going to start by transferring my bust measurement. My bust measurement is 33 inches. If I divide 33 inches by four, that's going to give me 8.25, all right? So 8.25 plus one inch for the dart. So I took off one inch, right? I'm going to be adding the one inch for the dart. That's going to give me 9.25. And then I'm also going to be adding another one inch to join the dart together. So that's going to give me 10.25, which I have marked here already. Okay, then to the waist, the quarter of my waist is 6.5. So 6.5 plus two inches for this dart. You know we took out one inch on the right and one inch on the left, that makes two inches. So I'm going to be adding that two inches to my 6.5 and that's going to give me 8.5. Then I also need one inch to join the dart together. That's going to give me 9.5. So I'm marking my 9.5 like this. All right, take note that I did not add any allowance to join my side panels together. I'm going to be adding that on my uh, on my main fabric. Then I'm just going to join this together now. And that's basically it for the princess that for a half length. You can see how it turned out. You can see that the princess cup has been formed already. Depending on how large the cup of the person you're making it for is that's going to determine how protrude this part is going to be so in case you need this for a full top what you need to do is just take your shoulder to hip measurement and rule out your shoulder to hip measurement and from there come up by two inches and join this dart together to that two inches point and that's it so now i'm going to be cutting out this 
pattern. And for my back side, I am going to be drafting it on a lining fabric for my next project. And at this point, I already have my dartless basic bodies drafted just like I did for the front. And here is my zipper allowance. And that's a basic neckline, the shoulder slope, the arm hole, the chest line is here. And here is my nipple line and that is my waist line, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do now is to transfer my nipple to nipple measurement divided by 2 plus half inch joining allowance just like I did for the front and I'm also taking that same measurement on my waistline so that I can connect it into a straight line. Okay and after, uh, after that you are going to be coming down from your chest line you're going to be coming down by one inch or you can just take nine inches from your shoulder line downward that's a standard it's the same as coming down by one inch from your chest line okay and on this line on the waist line i'm going to be taking half inch on both sides just like you can see me doing okay so i'm just showing you the half inch on both sides now and i'm going to be connecting this to that point that i just marked just like this this is very simple and fun <laughs> okay so the next thing i'm going to be measuring around my armhole so i'm following that curve when taking my measurement i have eight inches then I'm going to be getting the midpoint of that. That's just like we did for the front, right? So the midpoint is four. I mark my four inches and I'm going to be connecting this point to that point with the curve. All right, and once that is done, I am going to be extending this point by half inch just like we did for the front but in this case we are going to be extending by half inch because we just need to join together right and then from that point I am going to be generating a new curve okay All right so the next thing now is to start transferring our horizontal measurement just like we did for the front side okay so take note that i'm starting my measurement from this line i'm leaving out my zipper allowance okay so i'm taking my measurement from that line that i drew so from there take the quarter of your chest measurement plus one inch to join the to the to join that part together because we are going to be splitting that open right so whatever you get you should mark it like so and if you are marking this directly on your fabric you should add your side seam allowance okay but i'm assuming that i'm doing this on my pattern so next i'm going to my waistline the quarter of my waist from this line right the quarter of my waist plus one inch that okay the one inch that i took out plus another one inch to join the dart together okay so whatever you get just mark it like so and then you are going to be connecting that into a straight line all right and that's basically it about the princess dart for the back side all right if you did this on your pattern paper you can go ahead and cut it now and you are going to be cutting it this way so just cut this way this way this way this way this way this way <laughs> all right but because i marked mine on my lining fabric i just pretended for you the way you should cut so now i'm going to be adding my seam allowances before i go ahead to cut so on the downside i'm adding half inch joining allowance i'm going to be separating my allowance like this and on the side i'm going to be adding one and a half inch joining allowance okay and i'm going to be using a straight line to separate that as well and on the shoulder slope i'm going to be adding half inch joining allowance as well and i am connecting that as well 
all right so here I have a basic uh, neckline of about two inches by three inches but this is not the design that I want so I am going to be uh, making my neckline four and a half inches wide okay I had a basic neckline there because I was just showing you the pattern but now I am putting in uh, four and a half inches of uh, uh, a, neck, uh, a neck width <laughs> that I actually want so I just connected the shape that I want like so and I am cutting it out <laughs> all right so you should go ahead and cut yours as well okay all right I am going to be taking out my dart as well all right and once you're done doing that this is uh, what the back looks like don't forget to split your zipper allowance part open if you have it on fold and I'm also notching up and down my zipper allowance and voila this is what the back panel for the princess that looks like all right all right so now I went ahead and make use of my front panel that we made previously to cut out my front lining on fold and now I added my seam allowances on the side I added one and a half inches joining allowance and on my shoulder slope I added half inch on the down part half inch as well and this is what it looks like once I open them up because I cut them on fold okay so now just like I did to the back side I had a, a basic neckline of three inches by three inches but I'm going to be making the neck with four and a half inches as well so I'm going to be cutting out one and a half inch from that so I can be having it four and a half inches wide then I'm going to be drawing out the shape to form the shape that I desire it's more like a like a kino neck all right so after cutting that I also make use of that to cut out my lining I mean to cut out my main fabric the exact same way I'm having uh, black fabric on the two sides okay and now I'm going to be cutting out a wadding so that I can use it to pad my uh, bust area I'm going to be starting somewhere around here and I'll be stopping just at my under bust so the main idea is for the wadding to cover my uh, bust area only so this is it after cutting it out and now I am going to be sewing them by a quarter of an inch all around this way if you have the fusible type you can just iron it on so i'm just joining along the path that i'm showing you now okay here is what it looks like after joining them together and i am going to go ahead and start combining my fa uh, my patterns now i am placing them right sides facing each other this way and i will be joining by half of an inch all right so basically joining the side panels to the center panel okay and this is what it looks like once I'm done joining them together you can see my princess that is popping and now I am just notching my seams so that I can flat iron it and it can give me even flatter effect and now I'm going to be doing the same thing to my back panel the only difference is I am not padding my back obviously <laughs> so pick your side panels and join them by half inch like this and this is what it looks like and the next thing to do is to grab your front again and turn it right sides facing each other to the back side just like you can see me doing and you are going to be joining on the shoulder by half inch this is what it looks like after joining on the shoulder and you should repeat the same joining process to your lining the only difference is I did not pad my lining as well all right after that then you should turn your main fabric and your lining that you have you have joined the same way already you should turn them right side facing each other go ahead and match all your seams make sure everything is aligning and then you are going to be sewing on the armhole on the neckline starting from the uh, zipper allowance 
and you are going to be sewing this way stopping here so do the same on the second armhole as well you can see i showed you that you should not sew on your zipper allowance while joining the neckline all right so now i'm just notching all around the curved part so that once i turn them out it can give me a very flat and clean effect and now it's time to turn it inside out and i'm turning from this place like you can see me doing and after turning it inside out you should have something like this and here is my zipper allowance i did not sew on it while sewing on my neckline okay so the next thing i'm going to do is to get rid of the zipper bulge if you don't know how to do this you're lucky keep watching <laughs> you're going to learn how to do it now so what i'm going to do is to take about half inch away from the uh, seam allowance at the waistline so measure half inch and curve it upward like so so just curve it towards your back like this and after doing that i am going to be taking my new zipper allowance from that point okay take whatever zipper allowance you took initially for me i took one and a half inch if you took one inch before make sure you're taking one inch again right and then go ahead and curve it like so and that is going to form your new zipper allowance now so we are going to be cu cutting away this part okay if you've been watching my video you know i do this a lot and it's just going to give the back of your dress that very clean finish okay so i am going to go ahead and insert my zipper now i have a very detailed video on how to insert an invisible zipper so i am not going to be going through that again in this video okay so take note that i fixed the zipper on my main fabric only at this point then this is what it looks like after i am done and the next thing would be to uh to join the sides so we are left with shaping the sides and this is how we are going to be doing it open up your top this way and then pick the lining fabric of the front with the lining of the back put them together like this and then the main fabric of the front and the main fabric of the back together this way and you are going to be joining by the seam allowance that you have left so lining to lining main fabric to main fabric okay and join by the seam allowance that you have left and you're going to be repeating the same thing to the other side as well if you have your client around at this point you should have them to try it on to make sure that everything is perfect okay and once that is done here is what we have you can see how popping the princess that is it's looking so clean and beautiful and here is the entire project this is what the dress looks like <laughs> it's so beautiful guys if you want to see a video of this don't worry just let me know in the comments and you know how we do it i am going to upload the video for you guys okay i hope you have enjoyed this tutorial if you have if you find it helpful give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel for more videos and make sure we meet in my next video thank you so much for watching have a nice day bye